How is it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Before we get into this I-rated teams, I just want to quickly show you how I won a game this weekend. Now, I may just not know the offside rule, but pretty sure Ronaldo's offside as we play the ball here. And I went and I went and consulted VAR, basically. And VAR agreed with me that Ronaldo was, in fact, offside. I just want your thoughts in the comments down below with that one, because I actually won a weekend league game via a 90th minute goal from, a through, from this through ball. This literal through ball got me the win. And I feel bad for my opponent. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. But you guys already know, it's Sunday. It's 10 a.m. It's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. And of course, we're rating your teams today. We're starting with Andreas' team. Uh, this is my team. His second pick is what a playing game. The trade was on Neymar, De Bruyne, Kante, Alisson, and Mendy. Just bought Neymar and have 45,000 coins. Don't know if I should sell De Bruyne and play Ney at Cam and get someone for striker. Love from Australia. Aye, love from Australia, mate. I'm sorry that I just offended you. I, I apologize. Um, but hey, thank you for watching the content. I do appreciate it, mate. And I do like the start of this team, but I like the look of it to start with. You've got a few problems. So that Rashford's on, what, 5k maximum? And 5k maximum is a problem. In my opinion, it's a big problem. Um, you need to figure out how to get that card on a bit better chemistry. I'm thinking, first things first, what you could do is you could play uh, Rashford at left, uh, sorry, right centre mid. Uh, up top, you can start uh, any man like De Bruyne or Kante, you know, one of the boys, um, and they will get eight chemistry Rashford gets seven chemistry uh with loyalty but you say anything about selling De Bruyne and getting yourself a striker playing Neymar at camp it's a good shout but Neymar's a phenomenal striker if you're playing in there already um he worked really well at, stri really well at striker and I'll be honest with you I would save and wait until you can afford Mbappe for that striker spot so you know build up some coins over the next few weeks for your div rivals champs um if you play squad battles, play squad battles. If you trade, trade. Um, however you usually build up coins, uh, I would personally save your coins until you can afford an extra. I think you're going to need like a lot. You're going to need a lot of coins anyway. Um, but save up until you can afford to get that Mbappe um, as striker. Because I think it's way way worth getting Mbappe as a striker than selling De Bruyne and get yourself a, a striker that's worth, you know, two, 300k maybe. Because um, the rest of the team is really good, to be fair. Uh, I like this rest of the team. I like the perfect links you got going as well. Obviously, perfect link to Varane, perfect link to uh, Marquinhos. Guys, in the comments down below, can you help Andrea uh, get full chemistry with this team? I see a lot of you guys in the comments in the videos helping out everyone. And I am so grateful for that because I love the community we've built with the IRAT team series. If you can help him out get a full chemistry with this team or even just playing a player on better chemistry in the comments down below please help out. It'd be greatly appreciated because I can't see an obvious fix for the team in terms of chemistry unless maybe changing the formation works, but I don't think there's a formation that works at the top of my head right now. Um, we've got Speedy Yourselves team next. I've got no no coins. I was about to say no thousand coins um, and all the uh, team is untradeable. Our Sissoko, uh, the back line except for Mendy and the entire bench. Congrats on the weight loss. Hey, thanks, bro. Speaking of, right, this is a shirt I got last year and this shirt used to be so tight on me and now it's literally baggy on me. That's kind of crazy. Um, that's why I'm wearing... You'll notice I'm, I'll be wearing a lot of old shirts, a lot of old football shirts especially, over the next however long videos because they're, they're shirts that never used to fit me. So now they fit me and, and they're even a bit big for me. I, I, I want to wear them and get my money's worth. Um, anyway, this this team is, is like 480p. Why is it so small? Um... All right, I would say you've got no coins at the minute. I would say first thing you'd save up for is get yourself Kyle Walker at right back. I think he's better than wan -Bissaka. I love wan -Bissaka, but I think he's better than wan -Bissaka. I would then say you might want to work on your left wing. I'm trying to think, is there a great left wing you can go with here, actually? I like Dembele. I think he's fantastic. The only issue is he's at 60-something uh, stamina or 50-something stamina. Let's him down massively because I have tried him on the road of glory, and I do like him, but... By like minute 60, he's just, he's running on fumes and you have to make a sub. And if you can keep somebody on the pitch, uh, it's ideal. I mean, GG on the Salah as well. That's, that's a nice Salah. Um, I, I, yeah, I just say Kyle Walker is the first upgrade for you, my friend, in this team. Uh, we've got Ellis' team next. I've got 100k, willing to listen to improvements. Trade all players are Jimenez, Tavernier, and Torreira. Okie dokie, let's check it out. Yeah, Tavernier is actually a decent uh, right back as well, isn't he? I've never seen Jimenez's uh, dynamic image before. Never. I'm... That just looks weird to me for some reason. Uh, th bro, that Herrera is sick. 
I am so glad that I did it. It's going to be a phenomenal uh, something mid card if the, if Atletico progress a little bit more. It's going to be a great card. I would say with this team, the only problem is again it's it's Mane's on like five chem, um, and I think it's just not enough. I'm trying to think of the best way to play this. I think what you do here, I would say, is play Mane striker, Marquinhos centre mid. At least then, Marquinhos is on 8 chemistry, Mane is on 7. I'd rather that than play Mane on 5 and Marquinhos on 10, personally. Um, that's just the way I see it, because a player on 5 chemistry... I'm pretty sure they don't get their full stats or they get just about their full stats. You don't get the chem style bonus and they're important. You don't get, um, you know, they. I, essentially, I think they essentially play like they would off the bench. So you might as well just sub someone off it and play someone on, on, on chemistry, you know. Um, but the rest of the team is sick, to be fair. In terms of upgrades, uh, I would say you could go for that new road to the final, Jao Cancelo at right back. And I say that because, again, if Man City progress... Where is this card? I think it's on new players. Um, if Man City progress, I mean, it's a decent looking right back to start off with. But if Man City progress, say they get a couple more rounds, it's going to have over 90 pace. You're going to have 85, 86, 87 defending. Um, you're going to have four star skills on the three star weak foot with the right foot. Great passing, great dribbling. Um, and the physicals get boosted as well. So I think it's a card that it's an investment. And I think 196k... Man City have got a team that is good enough to get to at least the semis, in my opinion. Maybe the finals. Um, and that's like a plus five or something. So I think that personally, or a plus four maybe, I think personally it's a card that might be worth picking up for the potential that it gets a massive upgrade. Um, and it could go into your team. And that's the only real upgrade I see with this team at the minute. I think the rest of the team is fantastic. You could go with the likes of a Wijnaldum as well. But I, you're playing, a, like, you've got two really good CDMs here. You've got Herrera and... and uh, Marquinhos and it, it, it temper with chemistry as well or sorry tamper with chemistry not temper tamper with chemistry um, so yeah I would say keep the keep the team as is maybe just upgrade the right back um, Tavern is great but you know you can always upgrade can't you uh, we've got Clerco's team next can you rate my team 100,000 coins and I'll play a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow in game uh, all untradeable but Wijnaldum Allison and Kante and any improvements love the vids let's have a look oof all in trade apart from Alisson, Wine, Alam, and Kante. Lovely. Uh, you got 100,000 coins to play with as well. Good midfield. I The only problem is, I would say with this midfield, it's a it's a wee bit of slow. Now, I say that with the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, okay, at least the way I play it. And this is, obviously, this is all my opinion. So if, if you disagree with it, please let me know in the comments down below. The way I play with the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow is I actually like to play quite wide. Um, obviously, I play with, you know, the Hullets and Zidans and things like that. So... Bear that in mind, but I think not having 80 pace midfielders um, is sometimes a, a detriment to how it plays because you're likely going to lose the ball, say, to a left mid or right mid, and you have no chance of getting the ball back unless you switch to your right back or left back. Leaves that defense part exposed. Then you're struggling because you're on a 3v2. You know, it's... it's I think that whilst Renato and uh, Wijnaldum are both, you know, quality, quality cards, um, Renato is the only one out of those two, in, uh, and Kante in there as well, that has, I think, over 80 pace. I might be wrong here. Um, yeah, 77, and I'm pretty sure Wijnaldum doesn't have over 80 pace. Um, so what I would say is, because you can go with a midfielder here, You realistically, you could go with, there's a whole host of different midfielders you can go with here. I'm thinking 80 plus pace Premier League. I would say uh, replace your box to box with um, somebody a bit more attacking. And now, you know, option one is completely free. It's this uh, Yannick Balassi card. The reason why I'd say this card is it's six foot one. It'll win aerial balls and still be, you know, he's still tall. He'll win balls and things like that. And it's free. And it looks like a half decent card. Yeah, he's not a defensive player at all, but, you know, more offensive, um, fast, tall, physicality. You know, I think Renato and Kante are good enough in the midfield alone to be defensive. Um, I'd also possibly say change the formation that you start with and possibly get Hyung Min Son in there. Again, quite physical, uh, quite tall. I think he's six foot. Uh, five star weak foot as well. Good passing ability, good dribbling ability. Really good all round player. Or you can grind towards this Oxlade Chamberlain card. Now, this will take you a little while to grind to. I think you got until the. 4th of January to complete it. Uh, it's still active. I know it's expensive, but this, gen I'm not even joking, is a fantastic card in game. Been using it a lot recently. It's a really, really good card. I used it in a lot in the friendlies. I used it a lot in icon swaps, and I really got to grips with this card, and it actually plays really well in game, and he's really good as a box-to-box. -box. Uh, it could be a really good card to use as a box-to-box -box if you grind out towards it, and the beauty of that card is it would fit straight in the team, get full chemistry, and it's also a card that I feel like will be used 
usable as a box to box midfielder in a 4 1 2 and 2 for a long time. It's up until either you get a super lucky pack ball or we get objectives and SBCs that we're getting a midfielder with stats like this that are going to you know outplay this card because it's got a four star four star as well high high work rates i don't think we get a card like that for a little while that's you know easily put into a team um that's why i'm thinking something like that grind towards it um it's definitely possible um we've got julian's team next uh got messi from an 83 times 25 pack second pick is in game i've got 60,000 coins for upgrades but i can easily get coins my tradable players are varan courtois lorente paulinho felix is op that jao felix card is redonkulous is that card still available if it is right this is another card to grind towards uh, you guys i know i know a lot of you guys are doing icon sbcs and whatnot been off the icon SBCs if you are not getting lucky. If you're getting lucky, you know, you want to try your luck, I get it. But if you're not getting good pack pulls, right? Been off the icon SBCs. That Oxley Chamberlain, this Xiao Felix, the new Erling Haaland all look fantastic. But I tell you, this Xiao Felix and that Oxley Chamberlain are cracked. Highly recommend it, 100%. Um, but this is a well-built team. I like how this team is built. I think it's built really well. You've got a nice French link to move into the uh, French and then the Liga. You've got the perfect link in the middle. You've got the strong link down here. Um, I like this team a lot. 60,000 coins to upgrade. You already know there's not an upgrade. You just kind of, you know, flexing the team. And, I, I you know, I, I fully rate it. Um, when you can afford it, obviously, get that new, uh, sorry, get the upgraded Urente card in there 100%. We've got Yakub's team now. Uh, I've got 100k right now. My only tradables are Golovin and the goalkeeper. Have any suggestions on who I should buy next to keep up the hard, keep up the hard content? Hmm. Um... Not sure you're supposed to use my YouTube videos for that. Uh, anyway, YouTube, let's check out the team. Um, this is a solid team again. Uh, how much is the... So there's a special Kimmich card. I don't know the price of it. So if this is, you know, crazy high, I do apologize. What are we saying? 270k. It's not terrible, to be fair. 125k for the inform. 270k. I grind maybe towards that, that upgraded Kimmich card, to be fair. I think that could be a very nice card. Uh, and what I like about this card as well, this is a card that you could legitimately put into CB. And you could put Volan into centre mid. That's what I've been thinking as well. Um, is that Volan card? You know, it's a decent objective because you can legitimately play him at like uh, start him at centre back and then move him into midfield in game and put a midfielder at CB. And this Kimmich card is definitely a card that could play in CB. He's got the defensive stats for it and he's got the uh, physical stats for it as well. Um, only 70 strength is a bit of a letdown. Um, uh, but, you know, both aren't exactly centre backs. You know, he's been made into a centre back, but he's not exactly a centre back. So it's one of those cards where you can potentially move them uh, in between uh, or keep the same, whichever one you want, really. Uh, this team is really nice, though. 100,000 coins. I would say the Kimmich. Um, the rest of the team is really, really solid. Uh, we've got Sky Theo's team. Hey, man, uh, it might be a bit late. You're all good, mate. I record these at ridiculous o'clock. It's 6.25 a.m. I've not slept yet. Uh, anyway, this is a team. Uh, got 160k for improvements. In-game, I swap Werner and Henri. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Um... I would say, you know, the thing with your icon packs is like you've been lucky, but also unlucky at the same time. All right, you got 160k. What are we saying for this Klosterman card? Has he risen massively? Is he really expensive still? He is massively expensive still. I knew he dropped a little bit down in the 300s, but he, he rose straight back up after they beat Man United. We won't talk about that. Don't look at the badge. Um, what I would say with this team, you could potentially save save up towards getting a better uh, CB in Klosterman. You could also potentially go a different route. You could go down the route of um, playing Golovin off chemistry and getting yourself the new Alaba card if you save, save up towards it and get yourself like, I don't know, Shula or something at, at CB. Um... That could work, although Sulu is a bit meh. Uh, actually, yeah, scrap that. Save it towards upgrading the Klosterman instead. Uh, uh, that's my final answer. Save it towards Klosterman instead. Sometimes I say things, and I'm not giving suggestions. I'm literally just verbalizing them, thinking about them in my head, but saying them out loud. So if that comes across as me giving suggestions and it's just stupid, I do apologize. Um, ignore it. We've got Brad's team next. This is my team. Currently have no coins, but also don't mind saving for who you suggest. Everyone is tradable except for the SBC cards. Also play a 4 2 2 in game with Beck uh, excuse me, with Beckham and Pogba as my two CDMs. Congrats on the weight loss, bro. Big inspiration. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it, man. Um, all right. Solid team straight away. Very, very nice team. I like it a lot. I would say either get rid of Pogba or upgrade him. Beckham's already not really defensive CDM. Not a bad card. And obviously, it's free card as well. Um, don't get me wrong. This is a solid free card. Um, but it's not really defensive CDM at all. I would say get rid of Pogba, you know, for the time being. And Allen, 
um, Fabinho, someone like that. Someone really defensive would be good. Uh, until you can afford a Kante, then get yourself a Kante in that position. Um, the rest of the team solid, though. The rest of the team is definitely usable for the weekend league. Do that Balassi card. Whatever you guys do right now, do that Balassi card. It is a free card, and it's a good card as well. It's definitely worth doing for your teams. Please, do that Balassi card. I'm not going to tell you again. If I haven't seen you've done that Balassi, if I don't see every team next week with that Balassi card, at least on the bench, we're stopping the series forever. I'm, jo I'm joking. We're not really. Um, all right, we've got Henry's card. Uh, Henry's card. Henry's team next. I'm just looking for a rate as I have no coins. Everyone's untradeable, by the way. Congrats on the weight loss. Thank you, man. Rate out of 10. Going to give you so a solid... Wait, what? Everyone is untradeable. Hold up. Man's got untradeable Ronaldo and untradeable Varane. Uh, excuse me? A somebody come and... Mate. Mate. Someone come and collect their brother. He's taking all my player pick pack look. What is going on? He's got incredible promise on the bench as well. What the? Alright, well. Mate. I'm going to have to give you. Alright. Team, 8 out of 10. Don't get me wrong. Beckham's cool, but the novelty wears off. And when it wears off, it's really quite a trash 86 rated card. Um, Dembele, cool card. You know, 5 star skills. Great dribbler. 59 stamina. You know what I mean? Um... The rest of it is solid, so I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. You get two, minus 2 points for the two players that I don't particularly like in this game. Um, pack look, though, 9.5 out of 10, because that pack looks mental, you know, mental. Um, right, we have got... Uh, who are we missing out on? Uh, we'll have a look at Ben's team. It's it's unfortunately blurry and 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 not hasty screenshot. Please, hasty screenshots, but, you know, here's Ben's team anyway, boys. Uh, solid team, to be fair, Ben. Uh, I do like it. We have got Callum's team next. Uh, this is my team. I've got 20,000 coins. The tradables are Courtois, Wambasaka, changed Alaba for Lodi uh, because he was playing badly and Carrasco. Any suggestions? Let's check it out. Uh, no, I don't blame you. Lodi's Lodi's ploddy, you know? He's, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Uh, all right, Walker, right back when you can afford him. Get him in the team 100%. Uh, then I'd also say potentially... I'm trying to think if there's a good way for you to get chemistry here. Um, no, not really. Um, it's very interesting. What are you playing in game? You're playing a 4 2 3 1. Firmino, Central Cam. You're lacking a bit of pace and also a bit of passing here with a Bamiyang. In terms of what I would recommend, save your coins. Try and get yourself either an Anthony Martial or a Rashford for that centre mid spot. And then you can obviously mess around with them in game. Uh, I'm going to look stupid if Aubameyang's got better passing than both of those players. Aubameyang has got 75. Oh, Martial's got like 80, right? I think. Right. And Rashford has... Rashford's definitely got more than that. 100%. Yeah, 78. Lovely. Um, all right. Well, I look a little bit stupid. Either way, uh, maybe don't go... Mar well, I mean, Martial would be a perfect link and would get, would get 10 chemistry in centre mid, you know? Um, or would get Pogba 10 chemistry. So that, you know, would work. Um, but yeah, uh, think you're lacking a little bit in pace. Maybe, maybe upgrading Firmino to, uh, again, like if you can save up, get yourself a Rashford, play him right centre mid off chemistry. Um, and, and Joe Gomez to get the link as well. That would be solid. Um, all right. So last two teams we're going to go for, or sorry, last three teams. I'll, I'll include Harvey's because I've shown it now. I'd feel awful if I didn't include it. We have got, uh, K Gazi's team. I've got 20k for improvements. Neymar and Ronaldo untradeable. Keep the good work. Just get in the bin. <laughs> what is it with everyone having untradeable Neymar and Ronaldo? Don't, I, I don't want to hear about my, my untradeable pat look. All right. All right. I know I've got a good pat look, but I spend a lot on the game. You lot are out here spending nothing getting better pack pools than me. I feel like an absolute idiot right now for spending money on the game when you can clearly do it with a road of glory. But I guess, you know, the joke's on me. Um, this is a very nice team though, mate. Uh, I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Um, I'm, I'm deducting two points for you playing Kyle Walker at centre-back. Get out of my face. Uh, we've got Carrington Angus' team. Oh, sorry, Carrington Angus' team. I've got 150k and Div 4 rank, war, rank 1 rewards on Thursday. Any improvements? Why is everyone with this untradeable promise, man? What is going on? And Tyson. Damn, those cards like, kind of look cool, though. I like the dynamic images. Uh, I would say... Whew, um, try and get an upgrade on this card over here. I'm trying to think what you can go with. I don't... If you guys have recommendations in the comments down below, please let me know for an upgrade on the left center mid. Uh, and the last one is going to be Harvey's team. Got a 60k willing to save. Untradables are everyone apart from Pogba and Son. Love the vids. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. Um, wow, you got Untradable Bruno. That's a GG. I would say save up towards getting yourself Mo Salah at right mid. 
uh, or getting yourself like Mane off coming straight right mid. Apart from that, banging team, mate. Really, really nice team. But that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you lads later.